William H. Johnson from 1901 to 1970. William was an artist known for his primitive style of painting, depicting the lives of African Americans during the 1930s and 40s. He told a story with his art, not with words, but with pictures. Pictures of people and their lives depicted in his paintings. Born in Florence, South Carolina, he always loved art, even as a young child. To practice, he would copy cartoons from the newspaper. At age 17, he moved to New York to attend the National Academy of Design. After graduation, he moved to Paris, France to live and work with other artists. He traveled through Europe and met different artists and was exposed to different styles of art. This eventually would change the style of his art into a folk art style you see here. While in Paris, he met his future wife, Holcha Craig. She was also an artist. About a year later, they got married. They traveled together and worked on their art. In 1938, with the dangers of World War II, they moved to New York. They wanted to find a home where people would accept them as an interracial couple. The enlightened people of Harlem accepted and embraced them. During this time, he took a job as an art teacher at the Harlem Community Art Center. He was also still creating his own paintings, showing the lives of the men, women, and children of Harlem. Unfortunately, in 1942, a fire destroyed his art studio, leaving all his belongings reduced to ashes. Two years after that, his wife died from breast cancer, leaving William sad and alone. He tried to go on with his life. He traveled and visited family. He became very depressed and unstable. In 1947, he was hospitalized and remained there until his death in 1970. Although in the hospital, he still created his art, such as this painting seen here. This is part of his Fighters for Freedom series. With so much against him and through all the heartache, William H. Johnson became an extremely successful artist. He became famous for his simple yet very descriptive and emotional paintings. On March 18, 2020, the city of Florence, South Carolina, erected a statue in his honor. His family, seen in this picture, were instrumental in making this happen.